Welcome back, boys and girls, to another exciting Vic Killer Nacho Wi-Fi battle. This time, I am going against Omega Latios, who is a guy who uh, just recently showed up to my uh, Twitch live stream uh, asking for a battle, which is probably the best way, if you're looking to get a battle with me, to do it. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see, he's bringing a furret to this match, which, um, yeah, that, that's definitely honorable on his part. Um, I haven't been bringing Dustbuster that much recently, but uh, this guy is going to take it, you know, into his own hands and bring a, a, a furret, so... Um, pretty cool that he would do that. I'm also using some interesting things, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and lead with uh, Greninja, as he's going to go ahead and bring out Toothless, his Charizard. And, uh, yeah, that's a pretty uh, decent uh, matchup for me, although if that guy is a Charizard X, obviously it's not going to be super effective when I go for the Hydro Pump. Even if it's Charizard Y, um, the, the sun would reduce the power of that Hydro Pump. I decided to go for it anyway. Um... But instead, he's just going to go into Mantine, which has uh, Water Absorb, so that sucks. And then he's just going to go for a Scald, which will burn my incoming Skarmory, which kind of sucks. But um, I decided that I just wanted to come in here um, knowing that this guy is a special wall, so to speak. And I kind of also want to you know, set up um, Stealth Rocks, which will hurt the Charizard. Um, now, the Mantine probably does carry Defog, but I expect him to switch anyway. And indeed, it does go on to its Gliscor, which, um, yeah, I really can't do much damage to. And probably is going to try to set up the uh, Stealth Rocks um, himself. So, uh, yeah, indeed, there's the uh, Toxic Poison there. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and switch out into my Nine Tails, which uh, is a Lolan Nine Tails. I'm going to go ahead and set up that Snow Warning. And, uh, yeah, pretty much uh, Lolan Nine Tails has actually um, been quite impressive. And it's uh, worked its way up to OU uh, because of the devastating power of Aurora Veil vale with, uh, you know, the. Uh, hail so i mean it's a pretty darn solid uh combination and uh, it's actually earned a little nine tails um despite you know it's, it's pretty bad typing um a spot in ou anyway just gonna go for a blizzard he did taunt me so i can't go for the aurora veil um i figured that blizzard is going to probably hurt most of what he wants to go into uh now this is neutral against the incoming ferrothorn uh, but because of Ferrothorn's excellent special defense, he is going to not be too KO'd by that, and he's just going to go ahead and set up his own Stealth Rock. So it wasn't the Gliscor that set up the Stealth Rocks, but rather the um, the Ferrothorn as I go out into my Conkel Dur, which will obviously scare this guy away as he goes into Mantine, which uh, Mantine does resist fighting, but obviously it doesn't have great physical defense. I actually just decided to go for the knockoff, predicting a switch, and I end up getting rid of this thing's leftovers while also crippling it pretty severely. Um, now, he's probably going to be able to outspeed me. I don't want to risk uh, taking a burn because I'm not a Guts Conkelter. I'm a, um, what is it, the Punchy Fist one, whatever it's called. Uh, Iron Fist, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go to my Nine Tails, take some annoying damage um, coming in due to his Stealth Rocks. As he just defogs uh, away both of our hazards, which is actually kind of fine. Um, it does allow me to come in here, though, and set up an Aurora. Actually, no, because I mistimed it. Um, I switched in the turn that my my hail went away, which is just a dumb mistiming on my part. So now I am going to withdraw into Skarm again, because I can't go for the Aurora Veil. It requires hail to be up. And uh, yeah, unfortunately for me, he's going to go into his Charizard, so that's a pretty awesome double switch for him. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do. I go into my Skarm, hoping to maybe set up the Stealth Rocks again, but instead he is going to Mega Evolve into his Mega Charizard Y, I, or sorry, X. I decide to stay in here. And I believe I just wanted to set up the Stealth Rocks, but it does cost me... It does give him a Dragon Dance, which is obviously not a thing you usually want to give a Charizard X. And I'm like, well, I really can't switch out. Anything I switch into will probably die. My best chance here is probably just to sack my Skarm, uh, which he can almost certainly kill me with a Flare Blitz. It doesn't matter what my physical defense is. It's a Flare Blitz coming from a Mega Charizard, so... In comes the Flare Blitz, and um, it's going to pretty much murder my Skarm, but uh, does give me a safe switch into whatever I want to go into. And I decide to go out into uh, my Conkel Dur, which I do have the priority Mock Punch, which I'm hoping that it will do good damage, and enough damage that he's going to die to his own recoil. I end up getting a crit on the Mock Punch, which is um, pretty critical, and while my Conkel Dur dies, he will uh, go ahead and take himself out to that Flare Blitz, so... I don't know if that was uh, possible without the crit, but uh, it's uh, pretty fortunate that happened to me. As he now goes out into his scout, which is not a Dustbuster. Dustbuster is canonically female. This is just a male furret, which um, is a friend. It's a Dustbuster friend. And I'm just going to go into my Ninetales and um, 
you know, obviously he gets hit by the Stealth Rocks, and he frisks my Leftovers. Um, and I'm just going to go for the Aurora Veil, because I can. And he's not Scarfed, interestingly. Most of the time I like to Scarf my Dustbusters. This guy is actually going to be a Coil Set, which is a uh, neat trick that uh, Furret got in Gen uh, 7. I believe this generation it actually got it uh, for the first time. It's going to raise its attack, defense, and accuracy. A very good... Um, setup move. Unfortunately for Dustbuster, its base stats aren't very good. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Blizzard, and it's just gonna one-shot this guy. Doesn't matter what your stats are, um, if you just get one-shot. Plus, I don't think he could have done much to me because of my Aurora Veil. So, just gonna go back into Hugs, his, uh, Ferrothorn, and, um, I think I just try to go for the Blizzard Demer. No, I switch out. I don't think Blizzard's quite going to kill. So I go into my um, Salamence, and it gets the Intimidate, because I... No, I don't have the Intimidate. Oh, right, this is a Moxie one. Um, but it does take the Gyro Ball okay, which is what I was predicting. And I do have Fire Blast on my Salamence, so I'm just going to go for it, which will obviously murder the um, Ferrothorn, but I miss. So, yeah, that pissed me off. I don't know how many Fire Blasts I've missed recently, and it's just super annoying, you know? Um... How many Fire Blasts? I mean, the Fire Blast, obviously, uh, two weeks ago against Ham, it's just... Come on, man. So I'm just going to Fire Blast again out of pure anger, and this time it will take it out, and I'm going to get my Moxie Boost. Although, because of the extra damage he was able to get with Gyra Ball, I'm not really in a position to sweep at all. I really probably should have went for a Dragon Dance first or something, um, because now he can just go into this Tapu Koko and uh, outspeed and kill me, which uh, there's no real point to save um, Salamence at this point. I, I need to sack some. No, I do switch out Salamence. Sorry, this is the downside. Oh, I've read right, because my Tangrowth is actually going to be able to come in here and pretty much wall this thing, unless it's a physical Tapu Koko, which can happen. Sometimes they like to use Bray Bird, which can definitely hurt Tangrowth. Um, but if not, my uh, Salt Vest Tangrowth can pretty much uh, wall that guy, which... It seems to be a special one, so I know I can wall it, which is nice, as he goes out into his Gliscor again. And I will switch out against this, because I do not want to take pretty much any move or status. So I'm just going to go into my Greninja. He does indeed go for the Toxic, but he ends up missing, which is uh, good for me. And, uh, yeah, he's just going to go ahead and... And it makes up for that Fire Blast miss, I guess. And he's just going to go into his Mantine, which um, will just die, actually, to the Stealth Rocks. It's actually a really good play on his part. Because if it, him dying to Stealth Rocks, I'm not going to be able to finish it off, obviously, or anything off with an Ice Beam, which uh, will keep me from being able to get my transformation into Ash Greninja. So, actually, a really solid play just to sack off the Mantine and see what I'd lock myself into, because I believe this is a Choice Specs um, Greninja. So, yeah, I'm just going to go into... I, I go into Ments, um, just to sack it off to see what he would do. I really could have just went back into Tangrowth, knowing that I'd probably wall it, unless he has... I mean, even if he has Hidden Power Fire, my Assault Vest... Um, should do work against it, or Hidden Power Ice, and as you can see, that is a super effective Hidden Power, either Ice or Fire, and um, I still take that very well. I'll just go for the knockoff, though. I just wanted to knock off this thing's apparent Magnet. I don't think I've ever really seen Magnet on Tapu Koko, but I guess that would make its electric moves super strong. Unfortunately, you're not going to do anything to a, you know, a Tangrowth Assault Vest. I'm just going to go for a Giga Drain. I, there's really not a whole lot he can do to my Tangrowth. His only Pokemon remaining are this Tapu Koko and his um, Gliscor, which isn't really going to take a uh, Giga Drain too nicely either. He's just going to Volt Switch now for some reason, going back into his Gliscor, hoping that his Gliscor can maybe get the Toxic off on me. I want to see how much this Giga Drain is going to do. And um, it does less than half, so he can, he can almost certainly just wall me. Um, he does have you know the Poison Heal, so he's probably Carrying Protect as well. Not to mention, uh, if he has Roost, he can pretty much wall me. So I'm just to switch out. I don't want to lose Tangrowth, because if I lose Tangrowth, that Tapu Koko could potentially sweep me. Maybe. I mean, it really depends. He's just going to go for the Toxic, obviously. And, uh, yeah, he's going to finally get it on my Greninja. So, um, yeah, that sucks. But my Greninja is Specs. I know I can outspeed. He, he basically guaranteed a transformation at this point. Because, um, obviously, if he stays in, that dies. If he switches out, then that thing dies. His uh, Tapu Koko dies. Um, to the Ice Beam at this point, so I'm guaranteed my, my transformation. I'm going to be able to just murder this thing, and uh, obviously get the transformation into Ash Greninja, and his last Pokemon is Tapu Koko, which I believe I should be able to outspeed. Um, I think Ash Greninja does outspeed Tapu Koko. Uh, I think? It might... I think I do, by like 2 base speed. I'll have to check on that. Let's check on that. Base stats. Yes, three, 132, which is better than Tapu Koko's 130, which doesn't matter because he just dies to his Stealth Rocks. But good game there, Mega Latios. Hope to see you again soon. And uh, maybe next time I will uh, bring Dustbuster and we'll have a Dustbuster War. But today's question of the day, my friends, is um, if you are participating in Halloween, uh, what are you dressing up as? 
Um, if you're not, what would you dress up as if you were? And obviously, um, I'm a little too old for Halloween, but I have a daughter now who is um, now 14 months. So as a family, you know, because we were invited to some uh, costume parties, I am at. I dressed up as Han Solo. My wife was Princess Leia, and uh, Ayla was an Ewok. So that's there you go. Anyway, leave a comment about that, and see you guys again next time. Later.